All right, pop, pop, pop. Can you hear me? Cool. Hey, it's me. Uh, it's Scott. How's it going? Um, so every three, two to three years, uh, they give you a new laptop at work. Um, and uh, I just got this in the mail. Surface, uh, this is what a Surface 2, Surface Book 2, just showed up in the mail. Uh, I'm excited about it, so I figured I'd just take a second and I would unbox it. I don't really do unboxing videos, but I want to unbox this because it seemed like a good idea. Uh, lower your expectations now. This video will probably suck because I did not figure out how to plug the webcam in appropriately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to attach it if I can to this. So it'll be shaky for a second. All right, cool. So this is my little desk area here. Uh, I'm actually, this is where I do like my Raspberry Pi stuff and I'm working on a robot right now. So that's cool. Um, and then I got my toys and my different little people here. So we have fun. All right, so Surface Book 2. Hmm, that always smells so nice. Con new computers always smell nice. I don't know why that is. They just smell lovely. I'll put you over on the monitor there. Covered in crinkly stuff. This is the 15 inch. Now, the Surface Book that I use now is the standard. I think it's a 13 inch. To give you a sense of the size, I covered mine in wood from a company called Toast, Toast Made. So you see that this Surface Book 15 is quite a bit larger. It's a little heavy. It's a little bit heavy. It's pretty heavy. It reminds me of the big 15 inch um, IBMs back in the day. I used to have a W520. That was a nice one. How's the weight difference? Justin is asking. Half a pound? I don't think it's something you could hold in one hand forever. It's definitely, it is it is a, a heavier laptop. It intends to be. And then in the box here, let's see what we got. Power adapter. Ooh, that's a big power adapter. That is a 6.3 amps at 15 volts, 102 watts. That is a 102 watt connector. Now this is an interesting thing about surfaces and surface books in general. There are several of these. It seems like a standard thing, but in while in fact the connector is standard, these adapters are varied and sundry, uh, ranging in wattage from 36 all the way up to 102 and beyond. So that's that's very interesting. That is a little bit heavier. And then because there's all these different ones, I have a Surface Book Pro 3 that is my own personal one that I paid for with my money. This is a work computer, but my Surface Pro, uh, my Surface Pro 3 uh, has a 36 watt power supply and uh, you don't wanna accidentally throw one in your bag and then head off. Otherwise you will find yourself underpowered. Uh, if you've ever had more than one Surface in your house, my wife has a Surface laptop. I think she has a 72 watt connector. If you plug in that adapter to a machine that needs more power, it'll say uh, plugged in, not charging. You got to watch out for that. So there's my power adapter. Okay, a little card thing here. That is instructions. I never read the manual. Okay, is there anything else in here? Kind of a naked, I guess that's it, isn't it? All right. like to keep the boxes around. 
you never know when you might have to send something back. All right. Put that over here. Uh, pre-installed. Someone asked if it comes with Intel's exploits. Uh, I think it comes pre-installed with those exploits, in fact. I, mean, I never know what to do with this piece. It smells nice. It's like a nice little squishy. It's not a paper. It's a nice little squishy piece here. Um, it's like, do you carry it with you forever? And then maybe think about, I don't know. What do you do with that? Let's get started. The screen is just huge. Silent, hasn't made any noise yet. Computer name. Hmm. This is Hansel book. I guess this is Hansel Book 2. Join a domain. <laughs> no. Not, not going to happen. U.S., U.S., U.S. Administrator password. Mm -hmm. That's a secret password. Okay. So this looks like it came with the work image installed, pre-installed here. Um, they're saying, should they ship a retail unit? Dave is asking if they send a retail unit. The box says for commercial customers. So it says here for commercial and education customers. Right, so I think that there's like the one you get at the Microsoft Store, and then there's the one you get with my, you know, with the Microsoft stuff. Now let's while this is doing its thing, let's compare the screens. This is again my Surface Book versus my this is the new Surface Two. I mean, actually, you know what I'll do? I will take off the screen. This is my current one. Oh, you can see a reflection of me, hello. So I'm gonna turn that one on. That one's already halfway done. Boot this uh, this one up here. And I've already got a Surface dock all set up over here. So I plan on just plugging it directly into the dock and hopefully it'll just work and plug into my existing system. There you go. So this is Surface, this is Hansel Book One. There we go. So if you compare the screen sizes, it's pretty dramatic. You're looking at, well, certainly 13 inches versus 15 inches, you know, inch and a half, two inches. It definitely has a, it has a workstation feel to it. Definitely a workstation type of a feel. Okay, this says it's running the, uh, installing the operating system. Next phase, I should probably plug it in, huh? Let me plug that in. I'm gonna see how fast I can install Windows, uh, not Windows, but um, Visual Studio. On the side, interesting, USB C. On that side, does this mean I need to get an adapter? Oh my, look at that. So we got two USB 3s. We've got an SD card slot, and then everything else is USB C. I don't know how I feel about that. USB, I've got a couple of USB C things, but primarily my USB C is done on um, with my switch. That's my that's my experience with USB C. So now I'm going to go and Google with Bing Surface Book to USB C video. How do you get anything done then? Hmm. 
adapter. See, this is the thing. Now they want 30 bucks for the adapter. Man, oh man, everybody wants to get a little extra money here. Connect the, use, connect the service book two to the USB-C port for HDMI 4K ready, supports infinity, iFinity and NVIDIA. Okay, okay. I don't know if I like that idea. I kind of like, I don't know, sometimes you show up in this VGA and stuff like that. Am I gonna need a VGA adapter? How would I do that? USB-C to VGA. Apple, you have seen, I would end up buying a freaking Apple adapter to work with this thing for old VGA. Thunderbolt 3. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Hmm. Apple adapter, USB C on Surface Book. Something's happening. Something's happening. Microsoft Store. Tablets. Devices. Surface. Surface Book 2. Scroll, 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 scroll. Where's dongles you have to buy? Where's that? Control F dongle, nothing. Show me what I need to buy to make this thing work. It'll show up somewhere. Accessories? Surface accessories. Getting devices ready. That's there you go. Surface accessories. Pens, I don't need a pen. I need a freaking dongle thing. USB-C to VGA, oh man. No, I'm into it for 80 bucks. 40 bucks and 40 bucks. Looks, uh, okay. Surface, USB-C to VGA, yeah, I should do my first. Mm -hmm. Sponsored. Maybe I can do it for a living. Then you got to check the reviews to find out if it actually works on a surface. Does this work on a surface? Surface. Oh, they say it works on a surface. Mm -hmm. Surface USB-C to VGA. I know it seems silly to do VGA, but you never know when you might show up somewhere. And, uh, and they've only got VGA. It's a crazy time. All right. Let's see how we're doing here. So it's installed the operating system. Again, this is the commercial version. So here's what it is. That's why it has to do the little install. It's imaging it, right? Okay. Smishy, th someone says on swishy thing that smells good is a dust cover. Oh, maybe I need a dust cover. It does smell lovely. The squishy thing here. It's not paper. It's something special and squishy. Goes there. Mm. It smells like new laptop smell. Just a moment. Just a moment. Something's happening. Here we go. So someone's saying cheaper non-Microsoft ones should touch you back 
10 bucks. Someone else says use uh, USB-C to HDMI and then an adapter. Someone is asking if it's a review unit or did I have to buy it? <laughs> do I get review units? No, I do not get review units. Uh, this is a work computer. It was mailed to me by my, my, by my job. Um, and I'm doing the unboxing because I feel like it, not because I'm like paid to review things. Although if you have the hookup and know people who will send me free stuff to review, please send me free stuff to review. That would be lovely. Yeah, David here on the chat says, thanks for getting your dongles ready. It is absolutely true that people show up at conferences just assuming that everything's going to work out okay. They literally will walk on stage five minutes before a talk is supposed to happen. And then they go, oh, I, don't know, I didn't know how to plug this in. Always, always assume that they have the oldest projector in the world. Always be ready to give presentations at 800 by 600. You just don't know. You never really know when you're going to show up somewhere and it's going to have a uh, crappy connection. So right now, MSIT, Microsoft IT, is installing a bunch of uh, IT uh, crap. I think that's the official technical term. Um, I could probably torch this thing and use like the, the the default image, but they usually install like whatever the antivirus, corporate antivirus and stuff is. So that's cool. Oh, someone's asking about my Apple Watch band. While we do the surface, let's talk about the Apple Watch. So uh, I think the Apple Watch is the cat's pajamas. I think it's great. And uh, one of the things that you can do with it that I think is really cool is uh, you can swap the bands out really, really easily. Uh, so I get these cheap Chinese bands on Amazon. You just push this button and then pop the band out. Um, this is like a $6 leather band and I've got different colored bands. I've got probably, probably a half dozen different bands. So definitely, uh, don't don't spend full price. Just like we were saying, don't go and buy a Microsoft USB-C adapter. Although to be clear, they are the most compatible. Uh, I usually buy no-name adapters. Same thing with the Apple Watch. Just get uh, the out uh, outside bands. Someone else wants to know what kind of headset am I using? It is a GN2000. I think it's a Plantronics probably. Or something like that. Works out pretty well. All right. The brand, let me get the exact brand of the Apple Watch bands. Apple Watch band. Put in my orders in Amazon here. Band. It is L uh, L S I F T E R Slifter. Looks like this. Lots of different bands. They're about 10 bucks. They uh, they won't last forever, but they're pretty good. Oh, here we go. Something's happening. Something's happening. Ooh. Errors and warnings, zero. Finish. Restarting. And now with the Intel processor, I can restart faster than ever. Interesting, I'm looking at the top part of this here and I'm noting how, how big it is. Again, this is a 15 inch laptop. So the space on the right hand side of the keyboard is significant. It's a little thicker here. There's kind of a, a depth here or a, um, a groove. There you from the side, you can see the USB-C which interesting isn't used for power and they could have had like a whole line of them, but they only have the one. Now I said, Oh, here we go. Look, start it up. Mm -hmm. Administrator. I guess that's me. Cool. Get on the internet. That's nice. Let me look at the details here. So this PC properties, this is a Windows 10 Enterprise because it's for work again. Uh, i7-8650, it says two gigahertz. I think it goes up to three, 16 gigs of RAM. 
Let's look at the hard drive. Looks like it's got a terabyte disk. And let's look at the task manager. Looks like Windows Update is kicked in. There it is. So CPU goes up to three point something. It looks like it's going up and down. You see the speed there, it's adjusting itself. Okay. And then if we go to uh, rather CPU, right click, is it right click? Right click over here. Show logical processors, eight, eight logical processors, four cores. Because I was gonna use this for Docker and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm plugged in, so let me look at the power here. If you go down here in the corner, you see this here? You've got two batteries, right? You've got one in the screen and you've got one in the base. And they're both charging at this point. And you see it says power mode plugged in, best battery life, best performance. Good, better, best, right? If I wanna destroy the planet, I'm gonna say best performance. And now look at my CPU is 3.8, 3.7, 3.8 gigahertz. Now the fan just turned on, interesting. So I can now hear that fan when I could not before. If I go back down here, change that power mode. Now my CPU is back down to a gigahertz, meaning it's bursting as appropriate. And the fan is now quiet. So what I take that to mean is if you're typing email, you can probably do it up to four gigahertz there. You can, uh, if you're doing email, why not just uh, you know, do it on low power and it'll probably last forever. And if you're uh, interested in uh, doing a lot of work or doing Visual Studio or doing Docker or VMs and such, you can go and do that with that. All right, cool. So let me add my account so that I can be me. Windows isn't activated. Windows can't activate this device because we're not on your organization's computer. Yeah, I know. I'll, we'll figure that out another time. You need to activate Windows before you personalize your PC. Well, that sucks. I don't want to activate Windows. I'm not at work. I may be in a chicken and the egg situation here, and I may need to, um, I don't want to drive to Microsoft. That sucks. Insert a smart card. Ooh. Insert a smart card. Is that required? <coughs> hmm. Hang on. I have my dongle, my pile of dongles. That's the thing about a nice laptop. You get a laptop and then you have to get the 5011 dongles to do stuff on it. One of these dongles is for smart cards. There's the smart card, my badge from work. Not a dongle, not a dongle, not the one I want, not the one I want. Oh, that's a USB-C cable. Old memory card. Where's, okay, so now I gotta figure out how to activate this thing when I am not at work. That is not concerning at all. Okay. Oh, smart card. Smart card reader. Da, 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 da. Smart card reader. All right. Smart card reader thing. Bup, bup, bup. Bup, bup, bup. Okay. Installing smart card reader thing. Installing smart card. Bum, 
Bam, bam. Hm, 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 hm. Someone says I have dial up, but they don't like my connection. Is this not high? Is the. Is this bad? Is the frame rate lousy or something? Well, that sucks if I wasted this whole thing with a crappy frame rate. Shoot, that's disappointing. Are you serious? Well, why has this been lousy frame rate the whole time? Gosh, dang it. I'm going to have to toss this video. Is that better, y'all? It's a bit on the choppy side, yeah. Well, crap. Good lord. Okay, well, that sucks. Sorry, friends. I did not mean to waste your time with a dial-up connection. I just switched to a totally different... Um, I just switched to a totally different camera. Crap. All right, well, I think I need to drive to Microsoft now because they won't let me VPN and they won't let me activate. So that may be the end of our of our little dialing, a little thing here, which now I have to immediately throw away because y'all didn't tell me. You could have told me this an hour ago. <laughs> Let's see what's happening here. This is why I'm not a YouTuber and why I can't be trusted with live streaming of anything. Throw the other camera away. So in all seriousness, that was a 4K brand new Logitech Brio. That should have been the best camera in the world. So I think what we were really seeing was an issue with the Brio camera as it relates to Google Hangouts, which is ultimately doing the, doing the streaming here. So bummer that that did not work out, and I apologize for that trouble. But I'm going to go ahead and hang up on you all. Sorry about wasting your time and uh, figure out why I can't VPN into work. <laughs>